Hello Gators, this is 7-4 Similarity in Right Triangles, Day 2. Let's take a look at our uh, altitude drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And instead of comparing the small triangle and the medium triangle, we're going to compare the small triangle to the large triangle and the medium triangle to the large triangle. When we do this, we're going to get a very interesting relationship. So comparing the small triangle with the large triangle, if we go hypotenuse over hypotenuse, short leg over short leg, we are going to find that we're getting a geometric mean. So CB is a leg and it's acting as a geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse and uh, the side that's adjacent to the leg. And that's happening with the medium and the large triangle as well. We're getting that same kind of relationship. So we are this leads us to a theorem that tells us about this relationship and it's written this way. We are, we're talking about the leg being the geometric mean. So we are going to have uh, this leg being the geometric mean right here. We have uh, AC and AC between the whole hypotenuse, which is AB, and the side of the hypotenuse right here, this side that is adjacent to the leg. And that's what the theorem is going to tell us. And this happens because we know the triangles are similar, so therefore their sides are in proportion. So the theorem again, in short, says that, and if we worked with the other leg right here, if we worked with uh, CB right here, this leg will be the geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse and the part of the hypotenuse, the side of the the side of the hypotenuse adjacent to the leg. All right, so let's use this theorem to help us solve for RT. RT right here, we're going to call it X, and it happens to be a leg. So the whole hypotenuse, that means with the, these two would be added up together, and when you add that, to, uh, that up together, that would be 15, and the leg we're looking for X, and then X, and then the adjacent leg, for, uh, this X right here, this leg is adjacent to this side right here. So we'll use 9.6. So 15 times 9.6 equals X squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, I'm gonna to have to put that in my calculator And let's take a look. Square root of 15 times 9.6. And my answer is going to be 12 because this ends up being 144. And therefore, the uh, value is 12. So this side is 12. Let's go ahead and try to find JL. So JL is also a leg. In fact, I'll just refer to it uh, as JL. And um, so let's go ahead and set it up. JL is the leg. I won't call it X, I'll just call it JL. And we want the whole hypotenuse, which is 24. And uh, since we're working with JL, we wanna work with a side that's adjacent to JL, so that'll be four. So this will be four times, and 24 is really four times six, equals JL squared. And JL will be the square root of this product. And since I have a perfect square, I'm gonna be able to take that out of the square root. And so this will be my answer. Now to figure out the other one, I'll do it in another color, uh, KL. Uh, this is the one I'm looking for right here, KL, and I'm going to refer to it as KL. And the whole hypotenuse is again 24, but the side that's closest to the leg right here would be 20. And so now I know this is going to be uh, 4 times 6, which is 24, 
times, and I know 20 is 4 times 5, and that's going to be equal to KL squared. When I take the square root of both sides, I know I'm going to be able to get a 4 out of there. So this will be uh, 4 square root, and then this will be uh, 30. And there are no more factors than 30 that I can get out. That's it. So that's the length of KL. All right, and let's go ahead and do this last problem. We're going to do three, uh, find three lengths. QA right here is actually the altitude. So this is an altitude, so I've got to use the altitude formula, which is this one right here. So I'm going to write altitude, which is QA, and it is uh, the geometric mean between the side 2 and 8. So QA quantity squared will be equal to 16, and I know 16 is a perfect square, so QA will be equal to 4. So I found one of my lengths, which is 4. Now PQ is a leg, so I have to use this formula, and I'm going to use PQ, and it is the geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse, which is 10, and PQ uh, is actually adjacent to that uh, side, so that's 2. So I have 2 times 5, which is 10, times the other 2 is equal to PQ squared. And when I take the square root of both sides, I know that uh, um, when I take that square root, the perfect square uh, 4 is going to be able to come out, so this will be 2 root 5. One more time, I'm going to try to find the other leg, which is uh, QR. And QR is on the mean spot. The whole hypotenuse is 10, but this time QR is adjacent to this side, which is 8. So this is going to be um, um, QR squared. And I am going to... Um, put 10 into its factors, 2 times 5, and I know 8 in its factors is 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I know I can get um, 4 out of there, and then it will be 5 in the square root, and that will be the length QR. Okay, so now in summary, we learned three uh, theorems. One, about the fact that this picture has three similar triangles, so it's right here, three similar triangles. And yesterday we learned about this theorem, about altitude being the geometric mean between the two sides. And today we learned about the leg being the ge geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the adjacent side.